Michael Cohen's public testimony could potentially create more legal jeopardy for President Trump. Paula Reed is at the White House with what's next. Paula, good morning. We saw Michael Cohen put President Trump at the center of these hush money payments, including bringing that type of criminal conspiracy into the White House. And for the first time, implicated the president's oldest son, Don Jr., and his chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberger, in that scheme. What is the potential legal fallout of that? Well, this could expose the president to far more legal jeopardy than he's currently exposed to in the Russia probe. Cohen alleges that the president continued to engage in a conspiracy to cover up campaign finance violations while he was in the White House. Now, this is currently under investigation by federal prosecutors in Manhattan, and we learned during the hearing that that investigation is broadening. In fact, Cohen was asked about the last time he spoke with the president or his team. He said it was shortly after his a home and his hotel were raided by the FBI, but he couldn't reveal details of the conversation because it was currently under investigation. And he also confirmed that there are other previously undisclosed matters under criminal investigation in Manhattan. Which means, Paula, there are investigators actually going to see if there's evidence to back up the things that Michael Cohen claimed. Let me ask you a question about what he said about Jay Sekulow, the president's lawyer, one of the president's lawyers. He said he uh, changed Michael Cohen's testimony in front of Congress about this Trump Tower deal in Russia. Congress has been very anxious to uh, go after people who don't tell them the truth. What, what situation does that set up if, in fact, there is something that the White House did to change his testimony? Well, Jay Sekulow denied those claims. One of the things members of both parties were interested in is why did Cohen lie and whether or not he was directed by the president to lie. Cohen's testimony is that the president did not directly tell him to lie, but that he believed it was implied. He was supposed to make it clear that there was nothing going on with business deals in Moscow. But he said when he presented a copy of his testimony to the president's legal team, he alleges that they made changes to it, but that is something that they deny. Paula, Michael Cohen gave examples of where he said the president inflated and deflated his net worth for tax purposes. How likely is Congress going to see his tax returns? Well, they're certainly going to try. I think it's highly likely that they're going to make an effort. He gave them a roadmap for how to pursue those tax returns, which so far have been elusive. All right, Paula, thank you.